this is for the timing tensioner slash chain guides. Uh, when you replace all that stuff, due to the manufacturer making all that stuff out of plastic and they tend to break, so you want to be sure and do that at some point in time if you buy one of these used and it hasn't been done. But you can see that that pulley there has some large grooves in it. Those ports in between the two large grooves are threaded. Rather than buying the tool, we actually devised a tool ourselves. And the reason we did that because the original tool, if you were to buy it, we couldn't find it very cheap. And this bolt that you see there right in the center has a torque eye. If I recall off the top of my head, it was like 300 foot-pound of torque. So you've got to hold that thing in place because, of course, the compression in the engine will not hold it. So we devised a tool. So this tool here, my father-in-law welded up, and it's pretty much just a solid steel pipe with some quarter-inch studs on it. They're about a quarter-inch tall, quarter-inch round. And the pipe is, looks like two and seven-eighths to the outside diameter of the pipe. So that allowed us to get a socket inside there center to centers two and three quarter on the studs so once we had that on we were able to hold it with a very large pipe wrench the biggest problem you have is it's very hard to put anything else on it now i've seen people make these as well where they weld their uh, an actual arm on it but we found that having an arm welded on might become a problem if you have to reposition for whatever reason not to say that it's a bad design, we just went with this uh, ourselves, and it worked out just fine for us. Now, it definitely is a two-man job, because one person has to hold this and hold it in place, while the other person is cranking down that 300 foot-pound of torque. We had about a, what did you say, about a three-foot cheater bar? No, about four-foot cheater About a four-foot cheater bar on the end of that torque wrench, and on the end of this, to hold that stuff in place during that uh, process. So just a quick note for everybody, if you go to do that job, you are going to run into needing a tool like this. There's also another special tool that you can order online, not too bad a price. I actually wound up having to order two, because the first one I got did not fit in my variable valve timing solenoid port. Not sure why. Uh, fortunately, the holder for the gear was better than the one that I got that actually fit. So out of the two kits, I got a gear holder and then a variable valve time holder out of the two so be careful who you order from apparently there's some uh, hit or miss on those but those are two special tools you will need if you go in to do that timing chain replacement with the tensioners and everything